Hey everyone, welcome to the Burnt Brass Homestead channel. Water is extremely important for its survival. Humans, plants, and animals need water. Water is life. Most people get water distributed to their homes via local municipalities. Some people get their water from wells or streams on their property. If there's a prolonged power outage, water distribution will come to a halt in that area. Running out to the stores to buy bottled water is an option, somewhat costly and unnecessary, not to mention unreliable for those last in line. So knowing how to filter water and make it safe for drinking is important. In this video, I am going to do a quick demo on how to filter water. Now keep in mind there is no one way to filter water. It all depends on what you have at your disposal. But one of the main ingredients is charcoal. We have charcoal on hand from our wood burning stove, but you can make your own charcoal by burning wood. So I am using charcoal, pine needle, sand, stone, and a plastic container. These are all the things that I had already had available to me on the homestead. This is a piece of cloth that I used from an old beat up bed sheet. I cut to keep the fine charcoal pieces from falling out, but I actually ended up using pine, which if you use enough of it and pack it in tightly should keep the coal, um, the charcoal from falling out. So I placed the pine as my first layer. It also aids in the filtering process. Next, I crushed the charcoal from our wood burning stove. The finer the pieces the better as it will do most of the work to absorb or take up the various particles in the water. Let's pause for a sec. I am using wood charcoal because that is what I have available to me from our wood burning stove. But you can purchase or make your own activated charcoal which is better because of the additional process it goes through to make it much much more porous than regular charcoal. However, wood charcoal is also efficient at trapping toxins and impurities. Just make sure to use a good amount of it and pack it in tightly so that every drop of water comes in contact with the charcoal. My next layer is sand to trap smaller particles and on top of that I use stone to trap the, lar the larger particles in the dirty water. Now, again, this is just a quick demo. If I really needed to filter this water in, in real life to drink, each one of these layers will be much thicker. And if you want to, you can double them up. Now I need a dirty water source to filter. When gathering water, try to find water that does not have a lot of debris or that is muddy. This is a rain catchment barrel. The water is extremely dirty because the lid was left off for a long period of time. It actually needs to be emptied and cleaned for the winter. So now that we have the bushcraft water filter using materials that we already had on hand and the dirty water, it is now time to put the water filter to the test. It is very obvious this water isn't clean. You can see the green tint and the debris in the water. When making a water filter, Everything should be packed tightly in to the point that the water is dripping slowly out of the filter. It should not be running out fast. The water should slowly pass through each layer allowing the filtering process to work. Here's a close up of the dirty water. You can see the debris and the living organisms floating around. You will also notice that the water is coming out clean, no green tint or cloudiness. Even though the water is coming out, the bushcraft water filter clean, I would not drink this water without boiling it. That is very important in this whole process. Boiling water will kill viruses, bacteria, cysts, algae, and fungi. But it is very, very, very important to note, filtering and boiling uh, water is not very effective at removing harsh chemicals. Knowing how to filter water is a great skill to have. 
We used to filter water when camping at a private location that had a stream. We didn't have to worry about carrying three days worth of water to drink or cook with. Mother Nature already provided it for us. We just had to make sure it was potable. Except instead of using plastic containers or bottles, we actually used five gallon buckets to filter the water using the same exact process. This was just a quick video I wanted to put together after hearing of several stories regarding water crises here in the US. However, I am not a professional at water filtering. Therefore, you should do your own research as drinking unsafe water can make you sick or worse. I hope this video encouraged someone to further research this area of water filtering to become more proficient. Thanks for watching.